bit more difficult, but you can still make it, you know. But all these ones come from Walmart. Uh, I believe this one's worth $3, so pretty inexpensive. And you get 90, I think it's 90 inches on this one. So it's close, not quite three yards, but maybe two, two and a half yards, I, I, you know, per se, on this one. But you're going to use 24 inches of this one. Oops, sorry. 24 inches of chain altogether. I only use two chains in this area right here two um two chains only and then i put just glue um hot glue in it for my glue gun glue gun and i go ahead went ahead and just you know put enough in there so i feel that it was really it was really holding you know and that's perhaps um i felt comfortable with it and it was good okay so that's what i did and our next is going to be get to get um uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to get my, um, I need to get, um, my brads, and I totally, sorry, I forgot about that, so I'm going to get those right now, so you're going to use three brads at this point, these three brads are going to go through the, all the stacks of ten of them, so, Depends on the brags that you use. I like to use this ones. This ones came from Walmart, I believe, and it was pretty good size package of them and pretty inexpensive. The reason why I like it is because they're very long. Oops. Oops. I gotta get that one from the floor here because I just dropped it. There it is. I am making a mess today. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put it one by one on each paper. And then we're going to see what they look like. And once you start putting them one by one, you're going to see that they're not perfectly aligned and that's exactly what we want. So you can see the scallops everywhere, you know, not quite matching. That's perhaps exactly what we want. And again, this is why I like this ones because they're so large or long in the back that I can really make sure that they are completely secure in that area. So we'll go ahead and make the other one. And I'll try to kind of hurry out through this step. Should have had this other two done, but oh well, you know, it's okay. We'll hurry up and get this done. I hope this is simple enough for everyone. I didn't want to make too, too many steps, but it's not difficult at all. Oops. This one didn't come through. Oops, only one is coming through. Why, why? Let's see. And there it is, the two of them. Sorry about that. It's quite fast. There we go. All right, so. And then you start opening this one. Fan them up. <clears throat> and you have your second one. And now we're going to go through our third. As you can tell, this necklace is pretty much done nothing to it but I'll tell you I have received so many compliments every time I wear mine everybody stops me and says oh my goodness what a beautiful necklace and they want to touch it they want to see how it's made and where I got it from so it's because it's unique it's different all right here we go there we go. Okay, next step. We're going to go ahead. Put lots of glue on this. Once in the back. Be very liberal with your amounts. And I always start in the middle because that kind of is going to give me a kind of directional point. As you can tell here.
And last one. As you can tell, you really can see the backing, which is really nice. That's what we wanted. Okay, go ahead and press really well. All right, so now comes the fun part. We're going to go ahead and just lift them up really well. Distress them just as much as you can. They've been distressed already, but you want to lift them up, perhaps. That's basically it. Here we go. And again. And basically this is what we're doing. Just bring them up. Make giving them a worn or distressed look more than anything. Okay. I really like it just the way it is, but we can still go further with this necklace. As you can tell on mine that I'm wearing, uh, I actually put a little, um, I think it's a silicone flower in the middle right there after I had distressed mine a little bit more. I did not uh, distress this one's with um, stays on as you can tell because I wanted to keep that the, I wanted to keep the yellow cleaner a little bit. That was just a uh, personal taste. Not that you have to do that, but, you know, I did differently on the other one. But that's pretty much uh, what I did with this one. And it is the same size as the ones I have uh, here in this necklace. All right, so now comes the fun part. Let's decorate. Um, I have a dilemma here because I have all these wonderful, um, I guess, a little, you know, between, um, buttons. Many, many buttons. Some of them are very vintage. Some are vintage look. Uh, most of these ones came from Esmeralda at uh, Pro 31 Design. So go check out her um, Etsy shop. It's uh, loaded with all kinds of good stuff. But these buttons came from her. Um, she's got a package. Um, a little package that she sells. All these kinds of buttons in there. And there's just a variety of them. And these ones came from her. So these ones are really nice. So I don't know whether to put this ones in the middle. I'm still deciding. I also thought of this one. This one's skins from Mel Smeralda or um, <clears throat> uh, Pro 31 Designs. So I was thinking of putting this ones in the middle here because I really did uh, like them. And they're, they're, uh, this one's called, this one's sort of called, I think, Chandelier Drops, I think they're called. Uh, I got, oh. Sorry, I got the wrong ones. Let me get the right kind here. Okay, here we go. These are the ones that I'm, you know, planning to use on this one because I, I really like how they shine and how they bring the light into the flower. Um, I did cut a little bit in the in the top, and in order for you to do that, you can use just you know with a wire cutter. You get this end right here. And you go for it so watch your eyes as you do that but you know you can see how it just cuts it so it avoids to have that peak in the back and um just a little bit more conforming you know to the shape of this so i don't know what which ones to use that but i think i'm going to use this ones instead i don't know what do you guys think oh i kind of like that one too i kind of like that Let's try that. <clears throat> These are buttons, so I'm going to go ahead and take this from the back. There's one. And there's the other one. Now we're going to go ahead and put glue in there. And one. like that I like the vintage look 